In this next demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to locate what view would have a hidden line. This is the hidden line worksheet. So we don't know which view the hidden line will be located in. But we do know that there will be a hidden line in each of these objects. And the orthographic projection view at the bottom, it could be a front, it could be a top, and it could be a right side view. We will not know that until we determine which view has the head in line. So let's take a look at this first example. This first example, we have to decide, is the hidden line going to be in the front, in the top, or in the right side view? Now let's remember, a hidden line represents a surface or a part that is behind the view that you're looking at. So in this case, in the front view, there is nothing that's going to be hidden. Again, in the top view, there is nothing that's going to be hidden. So in the right side view, I can see that there is a surface behind this one here. So how would I show that ledge? I would show it with a hidden line located right there. So if I sketch that out for myself, I'm going to see a square with a object line right here. It will be a solid line. And then there will be a hidden line above it. Because that hidden line surface is above the surface here. So what orthographic view at the bottom portion of this page matches what I have in my sketch. If I look around, I'm going to have a solid line below a hidden line. Number four looks like a perfect match. So number four would be the hidden line solution for problem number one. Now let's go to problem number two. Again, the first step is to determine what view has the hidden line. Is it the front, the top, or the right? Well, I can clearly see that there are going to be some surfaces below the top. So I know that in my top view, this corner here will be shown going all the way through like so. And this one here will be shown going through like this. So my top view should appear to have two hidden lines like so. Which one at the bottom? matches my sketch. I can clearly see that number 13 is a match for my sketch. So this one happened to be in the top view and I'll put a number 13 in the circle. Again, the same view down here may be used more than once, so please don't cross these out as you use them. Okay, so good luck on the hidden line worksheet.